My name is Tom Shindi. I'm uh, the editor in chief of the National Media Group, uh, which is uh, a media company that uh, has uh, media operations in uh, East Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and, uh, and Rwanda. So I look after the, the content side of things for, for the group here. I do believe uh, in the mark more than uh, a mother campaign, um, primarily because um, it really focuses on one area in life that um, is uh, not very much uh, spoken about, although it's fairly prevalent uh, because of, uh, I think, the stigma that is attached to the issue of infertility, whether it is uh, uh, a mother or a woman who, unfortunately, are the primary victims who are um, affected uh, or whether it's a man, um, which is uh, the part of this problem that is usually never quite spoken about. Uh, women, uh, mothers, sisters, uh, and um, uh, the, the caregivers uh, in life, unfortunately are already burdened by many cultural issues, uh, by the very nature of uh, the way society has shaped itself, being very much a patriarchal environment and it is it is a real challenge in a continent that has such a you know huge amount of poverty um, and that relies a lot more on the women to put the home together so because of that uh, a content like ours does require some focus on uh, on this problem uh, and the fact that mark uh, has chosen this as the entry point is highly commendable uh, the videos that uh, Mark has been able to do uh, are excellent uh, testimonies of, 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 of this problem. They, they tell harrowing tales, really. They tell harrowing tales of um, how um, the issue of infertility has played itself out in, uh, in the lives of these women. Um, many of them, um, you know, married, eager, uh, young, going into, 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 into marriage, and suddenly you know, year one, two, three, four, five, with no children, suddenly um, they start becoming bad of uh, jokes, abuse, and finally, you know, even physical uh, violence against them. Um, it's, it's pathetic. The media is, is a platform for communication. You know, some have described it as a mirror that you put in front of yourself to see what kind of society uh, that uh, uh, you live in. Uh, and in this particular case, um, the me media could and should and really must tell that story. We need to bring the story home that uh, this issue uh, is a real issue. It affects many people. Uh, it has got profound uh, implications and effects on the lives, the trauma on the individual person. And of course, by extension, uh, those that uh, are, 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 are reliant on them for whatever it is. Uh, and much more importantly, um, activate some reaction. We want to tell this story in a provocative way. We want to tell this story in a feeling way. Uh, so that somebody um, gets upset by this, uh, by this discrimination, stigma, violence, or abuse, and so on. And actually is moved to something. The stories must be told to demonstrate the fact that uh, it takes two people for the fertility thing to happen. So it's usually not necessarily the woman who is the problem. Uh, what happens uh, to the man? Does the man know his responsibility uh, beyond just saying it is you who is the problem? Uh, can they point the finger themselves and also seek out some help and see whether together they can, you know, resolve these things. I took a personal interest uh, because of what I saw in some of the, the, the videos. And, and that touched me because you see people who, for no cause, for no reason of their own, uh, have been reduced to just being bath machines. There must be something more to life than that. And that if you are not able to give birth, it doesn't mean you're completely dehumanized and that your value for life um, is, is zero. 
The word that uh, Mark uh, is sponsoring, in my view, is very important. Uh, in the first instance, uh, because it spotlights within newsrooms the importance of this problem. The second uh, issue is that then it starts putting some kind of responsibility and encouragement uh, for the journalists to say, all right, I can do something about this thing. And uh, hey, I can actually get whatever, recognition, uh, get uh, some exposure, and also even growth. Because um, awards have um, the effect of motivating people. Uh, and I've seen, you know, in other instances where journalists have got towards in the so-called out of um, the mainstream coverage, you know, environment, health, science, food, and so on and so forth. Uh, they tend to take it beyond the mere act of winning and actually become, if you wish, uh, disciples. They talk about it, they take personal interest in it, and we end up creating actually a cohort of journalists that then we can say are really interested uh, in this in this particular area. I would like to see this problem animate our journalists a lot more than has been the case. And if they tell the stories well, uh, I can bet that we will see a reaction. And that reaction is at different levels. You know, the president might see this thing and say, oh, I want to make this an issue. If these stories are not amplified, um, they will remain untold and people will really not know. And then at the individual level, uh, I am hoping that the, 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 the journalists that uh, win or the journalists that actually just participate, who send in entries, uh, will feel um, sufficiently motivated to take an interest beyond the competition and become within their families, within their villages, their homes or their communities uh, become people who actually go out there and talk about this and try to reduce the stigma because that's really ultimately the objective. Uh, amplify the story, tell the story, but hopefully go beyond telling the story and start a healing process for the people who have been affected. I believe that this award is going to be um, that trigger that certainly will, even if we end up with one or two people in each newsroom across uh, the country really interested in this thing, we will have achieved a significant milestone. I'm a journalist, and I'm privileged to have a forum and opportunity to, to give voice to some of these issues. I also do have you know, some influence among the community that I stay in. Uh, we still have links to rural communities. We have um, people through church, through um, you know, uh, town hall meetings, opportunity to talk about this. And uh, it is something that I'm going to put um, among those that I speak about whenever the opportunity comes, uh, because they are there. If I do get a chance to um, contribute through linkages with you know, policy makers, I shall be more than happy to, to raise this because, again, uh, it's just not something that is spoken now. And I think if, if only we can make it um, a subject that is discussed, I think we'll have gone a significant step towards addressing this challenge.